All right, let's talk about should the Detroit Pistons move back in the draft. And I don't think it's a stupid question or a stupid choice at all. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I wouldn't move back, you know, before uh, before the draft. I will wait in the draft, have a, have a plan in place, and then I will consider moving back. Because at the seven range, you know what I mean? Anybody could fall depending on workouts, bad interviews, whatever the situation may be. Anybody can fall in a draft, all right? And um, you got a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying? I mean, nobody knows who's going number one. Killamello and D'Angelo Russell work. I wouldn't do it if I was Minnesota. Um, Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman, even though he won't, he can't play with Carl Anthony Towns in any year. I don't think they're a good fit. But, uh, I mean, just a lot of guys up there. Obi Thompson's the Denny kid out of wherever he's from, Israel, wherever he's from. So you anybody can drop to you. So you don't want to move out of seven. And then a guy you covered it, like LaMelo, dropped a seven and you could have had him. Not saying that will or, or can't happen, but I'm just saying you don't want to be in that position where, you know what I'm saying, ahead of time you move back. So I don't think it's anybody with multiple draft picks this year right now. So moving back and getting multiple first-round picks this year, I don't really think that's probably going to happen. But, I mean, you can move back and if you can secure – a veteran asset that can help you out or you can secure, uh, secure a future first-round draft pick, why not? Why not? I mean, you got a lot of dudes that can be there at seven, but you got a lot of guys that can be the best player in the draft at any point in this draft. You know, I feel you could pick somebody at 20 that could probably end up being the best player. There's not a major gap between a lot of these guys. There's some guys down there like the Sadiq kid from Vanderbilt who was outstanding. The Coral kid from Auburn uh, who was outstanding. R.J. Hampton, you know, he was a five-star recruit, kind of hurt his stock going over to Australia, but he still can play. You got a lot of different guys. Cole Anthony can slip down slip down past there. I mean, you got the point guard for France that knows Seiko Diombo that's some, supposed to be going somewhere in the 20s. I mean, it's a lot of really good talent, you know, in this draft. And, excuse me. Ooh, my neck. Ooh, it's a lot of good talent in this draft that at any given time, you can be getting a Giannis, you could be getting the Goldberg, you could be getting a Paul George, you could be getting a Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talent in this draft not to consider moving back. And it depends on what the assets you're going to get. You don't want to move back five spots or one spot or three spots and end up with an additional second round draft pick. No, you want to end up with a guy that can help you out, a Joe Harris, you know, somebody of that nature that can help you out on your team or you want to secure a first round draft pick or somebody, you know, you know, willing to give you a first round draft pick next year and they like a playoff team or they're going to be a playoff team. I'll take it. If I can get a 16, 20 or 25th pick first round draft pick, the last pick of the draft last year, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. was a stud for Cleveland a lot of this year. So there, there's talent to be had and you can use that asset to move up next year in the draft or you can use it and trade back another year and get some more first round draft picks. So to me, the Pistons should really consider moving back because there is ta there's no discrepancy between the talent. There's no number one player here that's going to be the surefire thing. LeBron, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson. You can go on and on. Nakeem Olajuwon. It's not that. It's not even a year where you got Derrick Rose and you know Mikey Be Michael Beasley going number two or Kevin Durant and Greg Odom or, or Greg Odom and Kevin Durant. It's not one of those years. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you, you can get a good player. You know, number seven could be the best player in the draft. Number 15 player get drafted this year could be the best player in the draft. You know what I'm saying? You just want to walk around, walk away with a guy that's going to help you. And it's a lot of under the radar guys that ain't getting no love in this draft. And a lot of the top guys kind of the caution to moving back. A lot of the top guys can fall down, can fall down in the draft, too. Maybe some people don't like Anthony Edwards. You can get him at seven. That's a win. Maybe it's some background issues with Obi Toppins or people don't believe in his upside or he don't have a position in the league or he can fall to seven. I mean, the Denny kid, maybe people don't think he sold on him that he good. He can fall to seven. So you don't want to move out of seven and you could have got one of the guys you covered high on your board. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if I'm the Pistons, I'm, 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 I'm not ruling out moving back. But who want to move up is the question. That's the question because moving up is going to be probably looking at the Warriors first. You know, and there may be some other teams like Atlanta who are super young that might be willing to trade out of that spot altogether for a veteran player that can help them. 
So you're going to have some competition up there. No doubt about it. You're going to have competition. Atlanta. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Minnesota moved up, moved, moved out of the top spot. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it was LeBron, you know, LeBron there, no matter who you got, you got to take them. But talk about Minnesota for a minute. Everybody talk about the Warriors and Atlanta possibly not needing another young player and moving back or the Warriors, you know, looking for a veteran player. They said it and not, you know, looking to get more of a player that's mature and a veteran like Steph, Clay, and Draymond and Andrew Wiggins. That's cool and dandy. But you look at Minnesota, top talent could be a center in James Wiseman. They got Carl Anthony Towns, right? Another guy they could be looking at is Anthony Edwards. You know what I'm saying? That might be a great fit, but then again, you already got a scoring point guard in, um, in DeAndre Russell who don't play no defense. You look at LaMelo Ball. Will he be playing good with two point guard slash combo guard mentalities? Really not. You know, you look at Obi Toppins. Maybe Obi Toppins fit what they do. You know, his ability to get up and down the court, he still got a lot of upside. Remind you of Sean Marion. Probably could be a really good defender in this league. Maybe look at him. Maybe they look at Denny as being, you know, that 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 point forward that Andrew Wiggins wasn't able to be. And you really look at Minnesota and probably moving back and bringing in a veteran player might be the best, you know, move for what Minnesota do. But really, I think Minnesota boiled down to Andrew. I mean, uh, it boils down to Edwards and a Denny character or a guy like Obi Toppins. So they may be move, willing to move back or move out the draft because really, you know, you got your point guard, combo guard, and wrestle for the future. And also, you got your big fella, Carl Anthony Towns, for the future. Now, do you want to sit there and stick Okung, uh, Okongu next to him? It could work. You know what I'm saying? But that's not really where the league going. So, I'm thinking they looking more at a two-guard or a swing man. And I think Denny and Edwards will be the right key for LaMelo Ball. I don't think him and DeAndre Russell mix too good together. And then, they could be looking to move down. You know, you can see the Warriors. They obviously shopping they pick. Atlanta's another team that got a lot of young players. They got Capella. They got John Collins III. They got Trey Young. They drafted the, the kid out of West Virginia. They drafted Cam out of uh, uh, Duke the other year. So what, what else could they really want? Unless they go move on from John Collins III. So they should be looking at their pick to bring a veteran player in. But if they add another young talent, I can see them take Obi Toppins. And, you know, I can see them, you know, taking James Wiseman if he fall. You know, it's a lot of different options for them. You know what I'm saying? But those are three candidates before you get to the number seven pick. That can trade out of that pick. Also, you could talk about Chicago could trade out of that pick with Zach Levine, Kobe White, Lori Marketing, um, the kid out of Duke, Wendell Carter Jr. They got a lot of young guys already on that team to add another young guy there. So you got potential teams that's going to be trying to trade out of their picks already because the draft doesn't have that superstar talent at the top. Joel, Ben Simmons, Blake Griffin. LeBron James, they don't have that top tier talent. Zion Williamson, it's not a John Moran, it's not a Melo, Carmelo Anthony in this draft. A lot of people are going to be looking to trade down and out of those picks. And this might be a situation where the Pistons, and we'll talk about this in the near future, the Pistons may be better served in moving all the way up. They may be served, better served moving up. A lot of teams are going to be looking to move back. You know what I'm saying? The Warriors looking for a, a backup point guard. I think they can use a backup shooter in Luke Kennard. Why not shoot him Derrick Rose, Luke Kennard, and your seven pick to move up to two, and maybe some future compensation. That might work to get you up there. But is there anybody up there that you really want that bad? I think if they able to move up for Melo, they can move up for Melo, to be honest. LaMelo Ball. If they want to move up for Edwards, they can move up for him, for Wiseman. This is the year where it's going to be a lot of suitors you know, at the top, I mean, it's going to be a lot of people at the top begging to trade down. And it may not be that many suitors on the bottom begging to move up. So if the Pistons really wanted to move up to two, to one, to three, to four, to five, they can do so. They really could truly do so, you know, but trading back, you know, that, you know, unless you can get a future first round draft pick or a player, that you that you covered it, that you can develop that's or already established. That's the only way I think about it. I think at seven, they're in a great position. I said it before, but then they also in a better 
position to move up as well too so that's something to look at let me know what you guys think about the video don't forget we on facebook instagram twitter you can reach out if you have a business question cry response your video quest keep sharing the videos want to make a donation to the channel cash at paypal in description best way to donate is share the video don't forget check out our uh our detroit lions talk playlist and hopefully we can do some live stream for the uh, pistons excuse me pistons playlist we can do some live stream for the pistons coming up one time for the one time mercy sports talk we gone